continue, uh, continued to be held um, via Zoom. So the two considerations that are required are that the governor's state of emergency um, still exists and also that um, you know meeting in person would uh, has um, an effect on the health and safety of the attendees. So the attached resolution makes the necessary findings so that you can continue to meet by Zoom. Okay. Uh, if there are no comments or questions, um, I'll entertain a motion to approve. I'll move our approval of item 3A. Second. Uh, move and second. Uh, roll call. Director Brica? Yes. Director Combs? Yes. Director Burt? Sorry. Did you call my name? Yes, I did. Uh, yes, is the answer. Director Pine? Yes. Director Kremen is not present. OK. And then um, next item, uh, item B, is to consider uh, the approval of a sublease agreement for 7 50 Menlo Avenue, Menlo Park for the authorities' administrative offices. Thank you. Um, first, let me say a huge thank you to Drew Combs. Director Combs put us in touch with Giovanni Houghton, who has been our resolute broker. He has been a very, very stalwart assistance in our search for appropriate accommodations. And um, Director Combs, I just wanted to extend my appreciation to you for putting us in touch with him. Um, so as you know, our lease cost at the Regis offices is being increased by 40%. That would put us north of $4,000 a month for our office spaces. So given that that is exceeding our budget, we went looking for other space. Given our requirements of ADA accessibility, small space, we, you know, we don't need 10,000 square feet. And in our member agencies' jurisdictions, that leaves us a fairly limited geographic territory within which to find uh, suitable accommodations. We had, as you recall, a notice of intent or a letter of intent, sorry, for a property that had space at 841 uh, Menlo Oaks Avenue or Oak Grove Avenue. That fell through. The property manager or the, the building owner was not willing to make any tenant improvements for that space after all, even though they said initially that they would be. So we have been uh, negotiating with the property manager at 750 Menlo Avenue for a sublease of three offices within a suite of single offices at 750 Menlo Avenue, Suite 250, which is on the second floor. The terms of that lease are for a two-year term. We had hoped for a five-year term, but the building owner is planning a major modification, a major renovation to the building at about the two and a half year mark from now. So our lease will expire in two years. Within the conditions of the lease is also a provision for a check-in with the building owner to see if there are any changes to those renovation plans and if we can extend the lease on a month by month or if there are any other opportunities to find space in other buildings the building owner may have in the area. So nevertheless, our term is for two years. The term of the lease is $3,375 per month or $1,125 a month for each office. There are three offices that are approximately 11 feet by 12 feet in size, which are perfect for our needs. There's a shared conference room, a shared break or lunch room, and of course, shared bathrooms and, and, and elevator. It is ADA accessible. The bathrooms can accommodate ADA needs. It is elevator accessible on the second floor. They will allow us to post our notices on the downstairs public facing window so we can comply with Brown Act posting requirements. That said, um, we the lease is written to commence on the 1st of August. It was signed by the property manager this morning. Upon your approval, um, I, I will sign on our behalf, complete the execution of the lease, and we will move on Monday. Okay. Uh, any questions uh, or comments from the board? And then 
I'll check or we can check and see if there are any public members. So any questions? Um, I had one question. Yes, yes sir. I, I'm Margaret, I'm still a little unclear about what happens after the two years. There you expect the renovation to occur and we expect to be looking for new spaces at two years. So technically speaking, I should begin looking for new accommodations at the 18 month mark. And that would be either in spaces that may be available in this property owner's suite of buildings in Menlo Park. They have several properties that they own um, or elsewhere in Menlo Park, Palo Alto or East Palo Alto. But our lease in this space will probably terminate it at the two year mark. It is written to terminate at two years okay, at this I point. Understand. I understand, thank you. Okay. okay. All right, any other, any other questions uh, or comments from the board? Uh, or Miko, do you see any requests from the public? I have not received any requests from the public. Would anyone from the public like to make a comment on this agenda item? Okay. Chair Rubrika, I would, I would like to just add one more um, yes. addition, sort of additional note. If the tenant market, if the real estate market for small leases like ours is similar in two years as it is now, um, I would like to encourage us to have a conversation at that time, perhaps at the 18 month mark, to consider what other options might be available for the JPA whether it's thinking outside the brick and mortar box or thinking about different kinds of accommodations either within our member agencies facilities or some other arrangement. It's um, as, as our broker Giovanni and others could probably tell you, if you are looking for 10,000 square feet, you have your pick. But if you're only looking for like a thousand square feet or less, we're such small potatoes that many property owners feel it's difficult, burdensome, a hassle to lease to such small pipsqueak kinds of organizations. Even though we are a government agency and our lease is solid and reliable, it's, it's still, it's a difficult thing to find suitable space. Yeah, Pat, I think Pat wanted to. Yeah, uh, just echoing what, um, on what, Margaret was just talking about and the possibility of whether this agency might in the future be able to sublet space within one of our government agencies. Um, uh, we're, we're probably all of our agencies have moved toward um, uh, hybrid work models and are adopting them on a more permanent basis and really starting to free up space as a result I touched out to uh, touch base with our city manager. We weren't ready to um, um, kind of pursue that complication uh, of that concept at this time, but I I suspect over the next year or two, um, various of our agencies might be able to um, consider it. It would be an interesting option, um, and so I, I just want to support exploring that. Yeah, and maybe rather than 18 months out, maybe in a year, we should start discussing that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other comments or questions? Uh, and not hearing any from the public, I think we can entertain a motion to approve this. Uh, I move to approve the... Uh, new sublease as uh, uh, reference in the staff report. Okay. I'll second. Okay, the moved in second, and um, we could have a roll call, please. Director Abrika? Uh, yes. Director Combs? Yes. Director Burt? Yes. Director Pine? Yes. Director Kremen is not present. Okay. All right, well, motion carried, and um, now we will be able to move on Monday, I guess, or start the moving on Monday. Is that correct now or? Yes. Yes, okay. All right. Okay, well, we've concluded our meeting and 
thanks again, everyone, for you know being here and taking care of this. Very important to have a place. So, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, everyone. Everyone's Bye. involvement and availability on short notice. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.